Now, I think for a 2-2, a giving a 2-4 is, is very good, so I'll go for that one. Allies of Overwhelm. Brilliant. Well, that's just made this e even more powerful. And we'll take on the Swift Wing to get to the epic item beyond. That's a pretty good starting hand. Got the, the spear. And if I'm not mistaken, does this power... Ah, oh, no, grant my bearer, damn. So it's not like a forge. Ah. But we're actually going to be starting off with uh, Misfortune getting the spear. Because you can use spell mana for that. So a 7-9 Misfortune, that's hilarious. Because she's another one who is usually, like, the weakest part of her build. Because I, I do like the way Misfortune works, but... In, in Like, she doesn't even need to attack, which is very good, because she, normally she's just way too vulnerable. Let's go for the Saurian to give the buffs. And get the dog. Does that... Ah, yeah. Alright, so I guess it is theoretically possible to draw Nico through that. We, I've never done that, but that will be interesting. Uh, and just go with these. Guarantee? No. No, he's going to die either way, I think. So I'd rather buff Misfortune. Because, uh, yeah. Just get Misfortune as powerful as possible. Losing everybody else, but that doesn't really matter. Taking out the one on the right, just doing a massive load of damage to the Nexus. Oh, no, maybe I should have done... Nah, no, it would have died anyway. I would have been at 6 health, and that's not enough to keep it alive through that. Mm -hmm. The dog. This one has gone from, like, one I never play because it's a 4 cost with one attack to just a staple of the deck with, um, with, with like, the, the bonuses it gets. Ooh, taking 12 damage and nothing I can do. Yeah, nothing I could do there. I don't need to save any of them from the attack. Ooh, that was painful. Let's get the narwhal. Glad I played that after the attack, because otherwise he would have died as well. It's the downside of the narwhal that it's uh, always vulnerable. Let's get the Boyd. And repost. And is that... No, there's still not not all four, five, six, sorry. I keep saying five. Yeah. Alright, I'll just attack then. Have I already attacked with the dog? That's the downside. There is no way that I know of to check, like, the level of progress unless you have a Nico in your hand. Yep, let's attack with that then. Oh no, that was... Oh, I guess dog and bird were the two I was missing. Alright, I'll just power up the dog to kill off the uh, elusive guy. Love ya. Very nice. Oh, I won anyway. One without Nico's help. And that's largely the impact and stuff. If something already starts with a subtype that isn't, like, given to it by the um, the shapeshifter, it gets impact. And that is just very helpful for whittling away at the enemy nexus. That is completely worthless, because all of them have it anyway, so I'll go for the Poro. Epic item, regeneration on the Poro, not really worth it. Uh, keywords, ooh, that could be good, because that would give elusive as well. Or grant the top ally 3-3 three, three on in addition to the 1-1. One, one. That's potential. I do use that a fair bit, but I'm I'm gonna go for the elusive. And I'm gonna have to pay to bloody heal here. Because it's Viego next. That is an okay hand. Get rid of that one and that one. Yeah, Nico. Cause I gotta do this quickly. I need to do this before Viego um levels up. Ideally, before he plays Viego, because... Oh, I get to attack as well. Uh, Alright, let's go for the dog first to lure out any bloody cheeky spells he has. That's okay, he doesn't have any. Uh, let's go for the Fate. And uh, cool trick. This is uh, plant a mysterious portal in the top four cards when he dies. Uh, that works with, like, the spell shifter. Do I want to... Yeah, let's eat it. So that works for spell shifters, so um, if you create an ephemeral one of these, that will die and then place the uh, portal. Decent start, but he's now summoning things in return. 
Oh god. Alright, let's go for Misfortune. And the Poro. I can't block with the Poro, I want the Poro to survive. So let's go for that one because it's a danger, and that one because it's not ephemeral. And then I'll take the six damage. And they'll both get a little bit more powerful because they're eating things. I mean, that is the advantage of um, when you're fighting an ephemeral based deck, because they tend to throw stuff away a lot more because, you know, they're going to die anyway. It, you can uh, feed your dragons off of it. So, uh, Winds of War is probably the best of those. How's Nico doing? Three. Uh, Fae, so Fae, Dragon, Dog, Shapeshifter. Oh, no. She's not a shape. Oh, she is a shapeshifter. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was confused to remember there. So Shapeshifter, Bird, and Poro. So yeah, she'll level up. I'll feed her the Poro because it's a bit puny. Um, yeah, and I'll use that if they block Misfortune. But I'm, I've, I think I've won. Buff everything. Can't kill Misfortune. Yeah, I've won. Nice and quick victory against Viego. And that is the difference of drawing Nico early. When you play a spell... No, I'm going to go with the regeneration. Because with the eating, she gets very power, like very high health. But she also gets rather damage because you, I tend to use it a block. Are there any temporary buffs in this deck? I've got that one. So yeah, I suppose that is a temporary buff. Is there anything else? No, I don't believe there are. Oh no, there's the um, the one one from Targon's Brace and this one. So yes, uh, that is absolutely worth it because then uh, I can essentially spread the ephemeral throughout my party. And I'm definitely going for this one because their bloody messenger is awful to fight. Nico to start with, good. Uh, I will keep all of those, yeah. So sadly there aren't actually any others I can play. I didn't think of that. Damn. That's okay though, I'll just play with, stick with Nico. Uh, and the... I still don't have Faye in this deck, but I will go for the Manifest just in case it's something cheap that I can actually play. Like the Cultist. Yeah, I'll go for the Cultist. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to tank that hit. Not sacrificing Nico. Uh, and now I play the Cultist. And get the Narwhal so I can start spreading that ephemeral. So let's get the Narwhal out there. Five health, should be able to survive whatever he's about to do. Ah, that. Yeah, I don't have a Shape Splitter. Damn. I guess I'll just buff it so it kills. That's the downside of piling so many bone. Oh, it still isn't enough. Damn it. That is the downside of piling so many buffs on uh, Nico. Even in disguise, she is a massive threat. Even before she starts eating things. I've seen that happen a couple of times. It's a risk, particularly with the regeneration. They like to target regeneration cards, the AI. Okay, that might have sent me back a bit, but I should be alright. Let's go for this one to get the extra thing. Yeah, it's a sacrificeable one. Okay, they're building an army here. Which is... Oh, no. Well, that's crap, isn't it? I don't want to lose this one as well. Oh, no, I may have miscalculated here. I mean, there was nothing I could do to save Nico, but still... Oh, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Um, this one. Oh, hell, look at all of their stats. Well, this turned very quickly, didn't it? Thing is, I have to attack. And I'm going to lose both of them. I mean, I, I could save one of them, but... I need to attack so that Nico's ready to level up when she gets out. All right, I'll, I'll save that one then. So at least I didn't lose them both. Can't believe that's the first damage I've done to their bloody Nexus. Oh no! Oh! This is bad. This is... Oh, I got Nico again, but this is... I... Oh, bugger. 
I could lose this round. I don't think I will, but... Yeah, they both got um, Challenger, which means they're going to kill off both of those. So I should hit something else. They have Challenger as well! How did I not see that? I just missed that entirely. Oh, this is not going well. Uh, Nico, let's see, I've attacked with four. Uh, bird, dog, fey. I've got a bird and a dog in my hand, so I'll go with the fey. And I also haven't attacked with the dog, so Nico will level up this round. Oh no. This is this has gone really poorly for me. Search warrant, I think, because that way I can capture something powerful. God, he's burning his own cards just to be able to play new stuff. All right, let's uh, let's attack, and I need her to be as powerful as possible, and I do need to attack with the dog as well. All right, yep. So she'll level up. I'll deal like 19 damage, 15 damage or something to the Nexus, which isn't, it's not great. I'm down to 10 health. Ooh. All right, well, at least I can save him by giving him quick attack. Which is very good. Ooh. All right, that was all right, but I don't think I, I don't think I could survive another turn of attacks. No, he's got way too much challenger, and two guys who can one shot me. So I, I'm, I think it's over. Oh, not a chance, matey. Yeah, I will bloody eat your Scythria before you can challenge me with her. Play the cat to get the buff, which is another hard thing. Yeah, I survived. Whoa, that was close though. Ooh. And let's get fortune out. So I, I think I have won this, so I can now attack immediately. And uh, yeah, they're completely out of cards, but that was so close. Now just bloody attack immediately. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to have to heal up very quickly. Yikes. I guess that shows how bad it can be if I suddenly lose Nico. Mecha Yordle is good because they actually they made a change to this. It used to be Mecha Yordle was their subtype, but since they brought in the Nico update, Mecha and Yordle are now two separate subtypes. That would be good because it's actually a really good ability, but making it ephemeral is just too weak, so I'll go for that one instead. Item, Reptile, oh, start with it in hand. That's also good because I put a fair bit into that. To the shop because I've got plenty of money. Allies Lurk, that is tempting because that includes Nico. Yeah, wow, Parallel Convergence might actually work well with this deck, but a four cost slow card, I don't really want to just chuck that into the deck at this point. Uh, that one's far too dangerous, so let's go for the Dawn Speakers and hopefully I can beat it quickly because I'm on very low health. This deck has nothing but this sort of little um, automatic healing at the beginning, as far as regeneration goes. Nico, to begin with, that's a pretty good start. That as well, yeah, I think, and my attack. Yeah, this this is not a bad start. Let's go for Nico with Faye. A third Dawn Speaker, bloody hell. A uh, Yordle. And a Fey, and put the spear on Nico. So hopefully Nico is now beyond them. So let's go for eating that one, attacking with that one as. W oh no. Um. So I'm gonna lose the Yordle, but that is okay because Nico will smash anything that she hits. Boom. Twelve eleven. With quick attack, overwhelm, impact, spell shield. Yeah, Nico's pretty untouchable right now, but I, I need to do this quicker. Interesting that he didn't block with the Dawn Speaker. If he had, he would have powered up the other two. All right, let's get uh, the Reptile. 
Second Nico, that's good. Just in case. Surprised he didn't attack. Okay. In that case, let's get um, the Narwhal to give the Reptile evasive, elusive. And a dog. How are we doing? Yeah, that's enough to level her up. So, eat the Reptile. Give the dog elusive and I'm attacking with three elusive people enough to completely wipe him out. Oh! Damn, that was... That was a little bit tense for me. For like, a turn. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, if that game hadn't gone well, this could very easily have been the end of my campaign. Ooh. Good work, guys. Narwhal captures. Yeah, that's probably the best of those. Tempting to give Nico Scout or draw Nico if I don't have her. Actually, yeah, I think the ability to draw a champion is is pretty good because Nico is very important. Like, there's no guarantee it would be Nico I draw. It could be Misfortune, but it's still worth it to take the risk. And hopefully, this is Mephilite, Me Mef Mephil Mephil the the Rock Man, rather than Senna, because Senna is harder. It is Shyvana. Yeah, okay, she's the, the third one who is, is possible, is rare. It's much more common that I encounter Senna here. But yeah, um, the deck changes depending on who the other person is. So this one is, uh, this one is Shyvana. Uh, three cost means she could be played this turn. Probably will be, in fact. And I don't have Nico. Damn. Alright, let's go for the na Navigator. What happened there? Oh, you tossed three of my cards, you little prick. Power up that one. It's got Scout, so that should be helpful. Uh, she's got Fury, so I don't want to just feed her the Dreg. Not that he's actually going to contribute anything, so now I'll just attack with that. And I can attack again, and either of them will kill her. That was funny. Did actually get to attack with him. All right, well, Shyvan is kind of weak at the moment. That's a good thing. I also have the Shape Splitter should I need it. So let's go for the dog. Ooh, all spells cost more. So what's he going to do? In that case, I shouldn't play this because I want to have the ability to play that, so I'll play the Poro instead. He's got Challenger, so he's probably going to grab someone. Grabbing the dog. Denied. I need that dog. And he's not a dragon. Uh, right, I can go with the narwhal. Yeah, I'll go with the narwhal, start giving people elusive. Another petricide pillar. <laughs> uh, give that to, let's see. Yeah, to the narwhal. Make him much less of a, an easy target. So let's see, attack with attack with these two. No, we'll just uh, he'll die now because Shyvana's powered up a bit. Uh, he's she'll power up, so she shouldn't get one shot by the dragon. And I think he's out of things to play. Oh, he could have killed her. That's all right. He's sacrificing Shyvana, which means he's probably got a second one in his hand. Not a problem. There she is, hello! But now, I give her elusive. Um, we're at three, so that's what? Shapeshifter, dragon, yordle? Did I attack with the yordle before? Or have I already attacked with the dog? I don't recall. Anyway, I'm going to sacrifice a Poro just to get the attack in. I'm just going to attack with everybody at this point. Because I'm just going to do a ton of damage for my losses here. When you've only got two to block, it's worth attacking with tons. Oh, it's exactly lethal. Ah, oh, flawless fight. Fantastic. That went really well, and I didn't even get to play Nico in that final fight. But that always seems to be the way it goes. Like, you, it seems more often than not, you draw the champion card in every fight apart from against other champion decks, and then you just, you just never draw them. Just always seems to be the way. But that was Nico versus the Galio campaign. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, the champion level just got was Behold the Infinite. Uh, now I'll draw at the beginning. So 
Uh, let me know what you think of my Nico playstyle and build. Uh, let me know how you play your Nikos. I would love to to learn more because I just I really like the way Nico plays. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you want to see any champions or campaigns. Here are the champions I have. And um, subscribe for more board games, card games like this, miniatures and TTRPGs. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later.